Here's another fan theory. Check this one out. This one's from Dion Simpson. Tommy's going to come back and have Two Bit and Kane work with him. You see that happening, Larry? Can can you picture that? I mean, I don't want to say three Stooges because they're not Stooges at all. But you've got three people who at one point in time was a hothead. Tommy, Kane, and Two Bit. I can see I I can see Two Bit taking orders from Tommy because we've already seen that. But could you see Kane taking orders from Tommy? Because Tommy going to be the leader in that crew. I could in this instance, for in this respect, because if you think about Tommy's going to be coming back from California, there's a lot of cartel activity out there in L.A. and California in general. So if Tommy comes back and he's like, yo, I got a direct connect with the cartels, and he's and he basically becomes, you know, he basically becomes uh, Kane's connect, so that so that Kane could run his own business. I can see him taking some orders from him, especially if he goes and says, "Look, two bits gonna, you know, two bits gonna run things out here," and and he makes, you know, and and two bit tells Kane, "Look, you're gonna be the distro," you know, mm-hmm. and 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 two bit basically decides to be the head of the whole thing. Yeah, you know the whole, the whole East Coast thing, and, and Tommy Tommy gets it. Tommy gets the stuff to Two Bit. Two Bit gives it out to to Kane and whoever else in the different boroughs, and they run. I can see that happening. I'm fine with that too. I'm fine with him having his connection be Two Bit and Kane in New York while he's doing his thing. I'm fine with that one. So ain't nothing else. Tell you what I think is gonna happen it. though. What's that? I think that I think that um. I think that Tejada's people are going to find themselves in some real trouble. And Mary's going to be like, I have no muscle. I got rid of my muscle. I need, I need Kane back. And, and he's going to, she's going to go tell Drew and Diana, go get your brother back. And he's going to be like, nah, I'm not going back. And now she's going to have to beg for him to come back. Yeah. Well, we'll see. All right. Here's another one. And I've got, I've got a real, I don't think this is going to happen. I don't see how they can make this happen. Check this out. All right. This is my folk, Mark Richardson. Tasha is going to die inside before she's supposed to get out, just like Dre, because Tariq is going to do something stupid. Last minute. Larry. No. Right. I can't see that, my brother. Mark, I love you. I just can't see them killing Tasha. No way. Mm -mm. I mean, we... I mean, let's be real. We, I mean, we knew at some point Dre was going out. Dre was slippery yeah. as, uh, mm-hmm. as, a, as a wet eel. I mean, this dude, this dude had, I mean, this dude murdered people and went to jail and got out the same day. I mean, this dude was so damn slippery. Eventually, you knew he was going to get caught up. And since the law seemed to always end up, you know, letting him go, you, you knew eventually the dude was just going to have to get dealt with. And that's what happened. He got dealt with. But I don't see that being with Tasha. Tasha is not somebody who's been super slippery. She just has kept herself out of stuff for a long time. Yeah. You know? And and do you remember you remember how Dre died, right? I do. His ass got burned up in the prison <laughs> because he that like you said, his ass is more slippery than a whole can of Valvoline oil. And that right. oil got his ass burnt up. Right. Yeah, so and he was and he was about to get out again. Yeah, I, he's not gonna die. I mean, she's not gonna die. Now, um, and, and here's the other thing: is that writers not, not like that. don't like writers often don't like to kill people who hadn't done what they're accused of doing. And so she hadn't, she didn't do what she's in there for. She didn't kill Ghost. Mm-hmm. You know, she didn't kill him. So they're not gonna they're not gonna get her killed for something she didn't do. She may get out. And then get killed, but she's not gonna get killed inside. Yeah, I don't see that either. All right, here we go with a new one. This one is from my folk, B. Demick Fisher. Kane, two bit, gonna team up with Tariq. Tasha and Tariq will say Cooper kid, Cooper Sacks killed Ghost. Both attorneys will get killed. Okay, Larry, what you think? He's saying Kane and two bit gonna team up with Tariq. Tasha going to get out. Tasha and Tariq are going to get uh, Cooper Sacks um, go to kill over Ghost, and both attorneys are going to be killed. Okay? 
Yeah, I mean, that, that that's possible. That's possible. I can see something to that. I can see... I can see Sachs getting killed eventually, but Sachs is not going to get killed this season. Sachs is going to be, I think, an integral part of this entire series. Yeah. I think yeah. I think it's going to be a large part where Sachs is going to be the, you know, he's going to be the one that is constantly going after Tariq. You know? Okay. It's sort of it's sort of the way that, you know, they may swap him out at some point and he may become a partner with Tariq at some point. Similar to the way Angela was, where she was going after Ghost for the longest time, and then they stopped, and then she was sort of with Ghost, and then she was going after him. And I, I can see where they go back and forth with that sometime. I can see Meth McClain getting taken out. I can see them saying, yeah, he's got to go. And, and especially if it turns out that, you know, if if Tariq looks like, you know, looks and, and sees everything like he's playing both sides of the fence, he takes him out. But if it turns out, Tubit really is his brother. I don't think that Tariq would kill him. Because I think two I think two bits gonna end up working for Tariq. So hey man, um, I, I, I you know I've been prophesizing the two bit Tariq 22 bit hookup since last year, and I'm just gonna smile if it happens this year because I predicted it last summer. But right, and, and for the other brother, I think his name was Mark who predicted that Tasha was gonna be killed in jail. That's not going to happen because that would totally wipe out the, you know, the the uh, the inevitable threesome or or twosome really. Oh. There, I guess the beginning twosome between Tasha and Professor Megram, and then later the threesome between Tasha, Professor Megram, and, and Monet. So we know it's going to happen. It's just it's just when, and you can't do it if you kill Tasha. Here we go with this. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Next fan theory. I'm not even going to entertain that. And, oh, and I don't want to see not one Perry. damn lock, not one key down there talking about Professor Carey. None. None of that mess tonight now. You know, I'm, I'm when, when, when you make a brother rub his head, you know you're on the right track. You know you're on right. the right track. Here we go with this <laughs> fan theory. Jeff Thomas. I thought it was, I thought it was Thomas Jefferson at first. He said, <laughs> Tommy learned... A lot by the end of the lot by the end of season of power, he's seen why Ghost did the things he did, and he will see a new Tommy, a smarter one. I can rock with that. I can mm. certainly rock with that. I do feel like by the by the end of last season, and Tommy seeing Ghost basically die in his arms, that that was a new awakening for Tommy, and yeah. Tommy had seen that a lot of the things he thought Ghost was trying to screw him over, by the end of the series, Ghost really wasn't. Ghost was trying to protect him, and Ghost wanted to just become lieutenant governor. It was, And, you know, Tommy never wanted him to do that. Right. But he did see that Ghost was not trying to hurt him. And when he saw who killed Ghost and understanding the reasons why, I think that did soften Tommy a little bit. And I think Tommy did probably gain a lot of education from last season. What you think, Larry? Yeah. Um, I think we might see a we might see a smarter Tommy. I'm not sure what that's gonna mean though, because I think after watching his best friend get murdered by his own son, I think it's gonna make Tommy a much more vicious but maybe much more calculated person. So okay. I, I I think he's going to be, I think he's going to probably be more careful in some of the things, but I think he's also going to be much more vicious. Like, I think he won't be so inclined. Like if that, if, if, if the situation with, with Tasha and, um and what was, what was big booty chick's name again? Um, um The Keisha. Lala character. Keisha. Keisha. If the Tasha and Keisha situation had happened after, you know, had happened now, like it had happened after he had seen Ghost get killed, I think he just would have killed Tasha. You, I think he just would have been much more vicious. He might have been more calculating, so he might have set Tasha up, but I think he just would have killed her, wouldn't have thought twice about it. But I, so I think we may see more of that now. I think he, we may see him being more, he might be more dangerous than he was before, but in a different way, because in the past, he was much more likely to, to just kill you and quickly and have to deal with it, the consequences later. Whereas now I think he might be 
much smarter about it, you know? Mm -hmm. But he's still going to kill you. Let me respond to my girl, Tressa C. She's saying, let me put her thing up here. A lot has happened that should have changed Tommy and he was unchained. Yes, but the one thing that never happened was his brother Ghost died. That was the one thing that never happened. And seeing your brother die, because they had a bromance going on and he yeah. has lost that bromance, that's something that can change people. I think that'll change him. I mean, I feel where she's coming from. Tommy killed his own daddy. Tommy killed his own girl. He killed his own daddy. Tommy killed him basically. No, Tommy killed Tommy killed what's his name? What was the dude's name again? Terezi. Terezi. Tommy killed Terezi. He didn't kill his own daddy. He was never a daddy. He was he, Tommy didn't yeah. know him as a father until yeah, for the, he, for he the sake he of the show, father. man. My God, for the sake of the show, just roll with it. I know it's not his daddy spent time with him, but he produced the sperm. He killed his daddy. I get what you're saying, but it was still his no, dad. No, you're you're right. I'm agreeing with you. I'm just saying that 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 against the person, what the person is saying that that he killed his own. Anyways, go ahead. Yeah, you're right. I'm I'm all I'm trying to say is is that he didn't kill his dad. Like for like for instance, Tariq killed his dad. Tariq yeah, killed his dad. You mean you know? with the bond? They had a bond, and so I mean, in essence, what you could say is Ghost was big brother and kind of a father. No. If anybody was a father figure or, uh, I guess, a teacher, big brother, maybe it was Canaan because Tommy right. Tommy and Ghost both learned from Canaan, and Tommy had a certain level of respect for Canaan. So you can kind of say Canaan might have filled that role for him, but Kanan, but um, Tommy killed Holly, and he had love for Holly. It just, it just wasn't to the degree of love that he had for Ghost. Right. No. And somebody, what's her name? Uh, Viola McGowan says, yes, he did kill him. I'm not saying that Tommy didn't kill Teresi. What I'm saying is he didn't kill his father. Teresi wasn't a father to Tommy. He may have been his biological. He may have, he may, Tommy may have learned that this man had provided the sperm as, 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 uh, as uh, Lamont said a few moments ago, but he didn't kill his father because Teresi was never a father to him. So when he killed, it's, I think it's a different sort of thing to, to kill someone that and that has, and I've never killed a parent, so I don't know, but I think it's different when you kill someone who is your an actual parent, someone you have known your entire life and you are bonded to them as a parent versus just killing somebody else, you know? And Teresi in that moment was just somebody else. He was someone who came into his life for a little while. He was close to him for a little while because of who he was biologically. And then he got killed. He was taken out. And that was that, you know? Last one, and I don't think this is going to happen, but this is the rumor. And I want you guys to let me know what you think about this. Mark Richardson, again, y'all know Forrest has been moved to Chicago. Any, can anybody confirm that? Because I haven't read nothing. That says Forrest? it's moving to Chicago. He's talking about Tommy's story. Oh, uh, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I, I'll be I, honest with you. Don't, don't we have enough with Chicago with with Shameless and with the uh, and with the Shy? Hey, but we ain't got no power franchise in Chicago. I mean, I would rather. I, honestly, I would rather see power. And I'd rather see power in, in L.A., New Orleans, you know, maybe Texas. I don't want to – I'll be honest. Chicago has enough issues. I don't, we don't need any more – we don't need any more heat on Chicago, you know. Okay. Neither the Diva said it's still based in L.A., but they are shooting it in Chicago. Okay. Yeah. L L.A. should feel disrespected. That's Tinseltown out there. They should feel disrespected. Yeah, I, I Philly, Philly, mate, Philly's so close to Philly, so close to New York. But I mean, I guess it could happen because there are some big cities that are very different culturally. You know, that aren't far from New York. I mean, you have you have New York, then right next door, and in, in Jersey, you have you know you have Camden and and Newark, and then you have Philly, and then you have oh you know. My God. Damn, yeah, I'm crying. Latricia C says she wants power in Louisiana. 
<laughs> Y'all already got on. What's that show? Sugar, um, Queen Sugar. Y'all already got that. And Queen, you, you, Queen Sugar not like power though. Queen Sugar's a sad yeah, sap show. Yeah, but I mean, you got a show, man. We what, are we gonna get to? We're gonna have power in every major metropolitan in the United States. Hell, have power, Raleigh, North Carolina. Let me get up in the joint. You know, you know. Let me go in for one episode, get shot in the eye, and call it a day. You know what I'm saying? Let's have power, Raleigh, North Carolina. Hell, let's have power, Washington D.C. And let Larry get up there and finally get his Ramona moment. Can you see, can you just imagine if they're up there and they decide to move power to New Orleans and the first thing that we see in the opening scene is Tommy up there at a at a bounce club having a drink while some people are up there dancing in slow motion to bounce music or you see them out in the street. Right. What do they call that when they have the band out there playing? Everybody does that step. There's something step they do in the streets when they have the band playing and people are marching in the streets and he's up there marching in the streets with folks with, with that rolling through the treme man hey. i'm all about i'm all about the moving power to, to new orleans that would be dope hey man <laughs> look i we've already said we want to see them do a power crossover <laughs> with p valley or high town now I'm, <laughs> I'm i'm there for that i would love to see a p valley crossover and uh with power oh my god well, you, could you you got you're going to have to basically nail Drew in a closet to keep him away from Uncle Clifford. I'm telling you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Here, this would be great. This would be great. Imagine this. Imagine that they they do, they show Two Bit and Tommy in New York at the end of this season. The Power Book goes to, or goes Power Book to. They show Tommy and Two Bit leaving New York to drive back to California and they start. And they start, a, they they get ready to start the the next season of um, the next season of what's that damn like the stripper show with the one P with Valley. the P P Valley. P Valley. They start the next season of P Valley, showing Tommy's Mustang pull up to P Valley and him and Two Bit get out to go into the pink. <laughs> Boy, because they stop there on their way to L.A. That would be the joint right there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we about to get out of here. Let, let, let me let me put this up at Trisha C. Now, see, I've been thinking Trisha C is a saint. This girl <laughs> does that Louisiana is the easiest place to get rid of the bodies. Oh, my God. Man, they got them gators. Oh, they got oh them gators and all that swamp area out there. She knows. I'm, man, she I'm, knows. Through. I'm through with her. I better watch what I say to her because she know how to get rid of some damn bodies. And I love all my 205 pounds. So, no. Oh, man. Well, oh, man.